Hello everybody and welcome back to Granite Shores and City Skylines. So today we are going to finish this little, or not so little, <laughs> train intersection. And so let's get started with the fact that we need both of these to connect, well not both of these, but this right track and the right track right here to somehow connect to up here. So I was thinking at the end of the last episode and I pulled a small piece of track out just to see if it would work down here and it actually surprisingly did work. <laughs> so whoa that jumped up quite a bit or at least it worked when I was testing it. What are you running into? Oh, that's right. I did have anarchy on. Space already occupied. Oh, I would like to be going from the... So, I'm not able to... Oh, no. Did it do that little... I don't know. Hmm. Because it needs to be able to pull from this line as well. Is the thing. I don't know why it's saying that the space is already occupied. Alright, let's anarchy. See if it's just being stupid. Let's point it this general direction. I kind of want it like that, <laughs> to be fair. Looks a lot straighter. Okay, and the wires do not go over that. And yeah, it's fine, it connects. This game sometimes has too strict a tolerance as I think. Would be an adequate explanation of that. Up to nine. Please don't get rid of the pillar. Ah, you got rid of the pillar, okay. And let's try that again, but without the pillar disappearing. And road guidelines off, because that is m making it snap to places I don't want it to necessarily, I don't think. Eight, nine. And it is 19 high, I do believe. Okay, now that we have it this high, and all of this is level, so I'm hoping I can just connect to it. Put that there, have this go out most of the way, and connect. Okay, that works, and I accidentally turned on the bigger piece. <laughs> There we go, and I can flatten this out a little bit more as it comes up to this piece later, as I did with the curve after the end of the episode. It actually looks really nice now. <laughs> I did this one as much as I could. Still a little wonky down towards the bottom, but it's working, so I'm not going to complain too much. Now then, we might be able to pull it off from here. Hmm. Where is my straight tool? And of course, because the underground's right there, it does complain a little. Seven, eight, nine. Hopefully that's low enough to go under. Pull it out to there. And if I can position my camera and move my fingers the right way. Now that looks a little too high. Hmm. And there's not really a lot of room after that to pull it up. But the problem is around here is that there's not a ton of room. Although, no, because that's all sloped up. Um, up until it gets to up here. 
Hmm. And I could make a little UE right here, but I tested that, and that only connects to this line. So that doesn't... That's not effective. Hmm. How do we get this line through? So it goes up along here. This is part of that line. What if we make it kind of go around into... Oh, really? No pillar? Ah. Okay, one second. This bothers me. Maybe right there we'll have the pillar. No? Okay. Well, it's a lot straighter of a slope now. <laughs> and why are you dipped so low? Because I probably didn't look at the distance before I clicked it down. So let's level that off. And actually, then we can... No, I'm... No, I'll leave that. I'm sure that there could be a pillar there somewhere, but I'll mess with that off-screen. But we do have this piece right here, and all of that is really flat. So if we can have that curve around in some fashion, what direction would be the best? Actually, this goes out pretty far, so we could have it just curve up like that. Okay, then. So it looks like right there is the point in which it's snapping to the most. So let's see. To about right there. Let's l have it start lifting up. Three is fine for now. And then if we have it curve very massively all the way up because that should be a fairly nice slope for it that does connect it is connected down here okay and so there we go okay we could have this a little higher Um, about right there, I think. Lift this one up a little bit as well. This backside seems like it goes pretty low, but it is trying to bend to, to make it smoother. But I think that's pretty good. And so, if we take a look at it then, we have... This one connecting to the three others. We have this one connecting to the three others. We have this one only connecting to this one, though. And that's part of the problem, because we need this one to connect to two other places. So. Hmm. And I, I do need to fix this a little, because it does have a pillar hanging right there, out in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Okay, so the next difficulty is finding out how I'm going to run this through all of this, because unfortunately we did have to draw these beyond where this one would normally try to connect to things. We could have it go up. Hmm. Connecting to this side would be most logical. But we I'm not sure if we can get it around that way is the problem. Hmm. We could start with pulling this one off in a more exaggerated direction. Something more like that, maybe? Hmm. If we pulled 
No, that would create cross traffic though. If I pulled that over and tried to cross there. The only reason I'm allowing this is because over here, though still gets a decent amount of traffic, this should not block anything really. Shouldn't block anything. This might actually block something. <laughs> now that I see it. Hmm. Because what we could do with this is it could just get pulled around. We have one piece that drops off to the bottom and then connects down to here. And then the other one just continues around and connects to, well, one of these. So, like, if it came off from here, say... Ah, we, we're only doing this as a test. Turn around. Nope, doesn't connect. Okay. But something along that idea. In fact, let's fix this while I think about this. Let's see if we can't get pillars in here. Because that would be nice. <laughs> No, not, not quite like that. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can pull it off from the opposite direction. You, from there to there. There we go. And obviously, change direction. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Hmm... And I often do this, I, I take myself away from the work at hand because I am very prone to eureka moments. So, I have a very contributing subconscious, so if I let my subconscious work at it for just a moment while we do other stuff, like flattening out another terrain, sometimes I come up with it just... When I come back, I'll, I'll take a look at it again and be like, Oh, there we go. Kind of thing. Hmm. This is just really intense. <laughs> In terms of how much is going on here. And these, to be fair, are really high up. And that's what's creating part of the problem. That's why we have these really long pieces if it was only nine, it wouldn't probably be as bad. Hmm. I wonder if we could have a piece come off down here and connect down here somewhere. And if we... If we do it before this junction, though, we wouldn't actually need this little rounded part. And is that a good thing? Because if we just continue this down, we could actually turn this pillar just to allow the train to go through it. And then it could just connect into somewhere down here. But that would be pretty steep, too, coming down. Move it mod, please turn off. That's one thing I think the move it mod really needs is that when you select something else, it turns off. <laughs> but the thing here is that it's really steep coming down. No, please. <laughs> I said no, please. I said no. Every time I put down another meter, it is like, yes, you want to connect it. You're pulling it down. I'm like, no, I don't want to connect it. I'm pulling it down for effect. So say we pulled it down like that. Could we actually connect this without it going crazy? It says it interrupts it, but oh my goodness, what did that do? 
Ah, that did this. And it goes backwards too. It shows it going forward, but it actually goes backwards. Hmm. Well, that is not effective. Hmm, maybe if we had it come down and snake through that gap. I think that is the most effective way to do it. Can we have you come off to the side? Because that would actually be the most effective. We want you to snake through here. And... Is that what's causing that? That is. I need to have that off for a second. See, now the problem is, is that it needs to be high enough going over. But then... But then be able to drop that distance before the monorail track. We'll probably get rid of the pillar if I put it here. I wish you could keep the pillars. That is one thing about Anarchy that does bother me is that it gets rid of the pillars. And I wish the train wouldn't be curving the track here. Really do. It can connect and in a pretty decent manner too. Okay, that's a little too steep, it seems. 75 wouldn't be bad. How does that look? It all connects. Hmm. That is going to be a busy in interchange, though. But that does mean that we don't technically need this. Which actually means that we can make this look a little better. So, let's make it look a little better. Yes? There we go. Although... Oh, wow. Okay, wait. <laughs> now that we look in there, that is some weird poop going on. Okay, never mind with that. We can always put that back, too, so... Hmm. Maybe if we had it continue a little further down and connect down here, and then we can just put that back. So... But we do need it to be on the ground before it hits this point. So... Down on the ground. And you do not actually run into anything. Comes close, but it doesn't. And it gets under that. And then... Eh, 78's not terrible. So, what a snaky road. We put that on the ground. As you can see, we do kind of need to lift this point ever so slightly. Then it goes up at a fairly smooth rate. Not sure if I can change that at all, since we do have to put back this little curve right here, though. It's just like, yeah, it goes straight. It's like, what? Oh. No. Let's change that back. Not make it look terrible. Distance too short. Really? Okay, well, let's have it go off like that then. There we go. Okay. Now, this should never get trains backed up on it, so I'm not going to be too worried that this is such a short length that nothing would be able to pass this way if it gets blocked because it should clear fairly quickly. 
let's actually put that on the ground. Oh, because I, I didn't actually click it. I thought I had clicked it, but I didn't. Okay. Change it back to normal so that we don't have any issues. In fact, this still seems very low. Maybe that's why it was elevated. Hmm. But just to like that, I think. Wires are going through quite visibly. <laughs> so down to there. Maybe we'll lower this one a little. And there we go. That look that all makes it look nice. Okay. Hmm. So we have it going to this one and this one. We actually still need it to go out this way. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if we, maybe, this would be a, excuse me, my voice going a little froggy there. Maybe if we have it come off from this direction, have it go this way, maintain level. Ooh, that rail, <laughs> right there. That is very bendy. We can have it. It was at five right there. How low is that? So if it crossed over right about here. So. And we do want it coming off at that angle. We can actually see where the wires are. Negative one. Pull it up. It's going through still. So. At about. And it actually shows where it will kind of argue with it. So right there. It would be able to be placed without anarchy. And without pillars, apparently. Okay, so with anarchy, but without pillars. <laughs> hmm. And then if we had this... Kind of go up and connect to it. Not like... Th Why would I want it to be connecting like that? Okay, well, let's... We're going to take from an average angle of where those will be connecting. We want this to be a very, very big curve. If we can. With pillars in between. If we can get them to stay. Just right there, maybe? Ah, we got all the pillars. Very good. Okay, now you at your 180 and curve into this. Okay. Okay, now from here we want it to separate into two pieces. We want one to continue on and I think I'll have it this piece. 15 and then what are you doing? <laughs> this crazy thing. It just does whatever it wants to do. Does that... That elevates three. Which I... I'm not actually sure because I'm not getting road guidelines to where I want it to. That actually does look fairly level. And I can't lower the angle anymore. Actually, you know what? We're going to leave it as normal. Three is not that big of a difference, so. Out to there. 
And then quite simply... Oh, that's going to want to do that. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Of course, that will be connecting over the middle of nowhere. And oh, there's not even any pillar on this side. So you know what? We'll take it from there. And you know what? We'll pull it all the way over here. But just that, that does come out at the 180. That goes in at the 49. That pillar, though. I wish it would leave that pillar and let me move. Well, I guess because Anarchy doesn't come with the move it mod. But you can... Yeah. Because it doesn't come with the move it mod. Okay. And then that connects into that like that. Into that right there. And apparently we have some slight issues. This will make everything a little steeper. But it doesn't look like it changed much. In fact, I think this looks a little smoother because of that. <laughs> okay, so everything is good. So we have this side connecting to over here. And because we have this side connecting... Oh, excuse me. Connecting to this roundabout piece if they just go through this then all we need to do is have this section connect to over here and we would have all of the connections spaghetti mm -hmm. it's making me hungry <laughs> okay let's pull this off and down before I make any more bad jokes <laughs> But yeah, that, that reminds me of VeggieTales. There was a scene between the... The Gourd, I think? In, in one of the silly songs. Between the Gourd and the... P. The P was the captain of the ship. And the Gourd was just, like, one of the crew. And... Is it just that easy? Huh. Certainly looks looks it. Oh gosh, okay. We do not touch that. Okay, so we'll lift this to make Okay, we do not touch that. Oh, and there's a rail that goes through it. Uh no, it's not that easy. But the They were singing a song about about them being lazy that's right and the gourd eventually comes up to the, tells the captain that he looks like a crunch berry from captain crunch but obviously very um very hidden because obviously they're not going to advertise captain crunch hmm this will this will be on the ground. Or not on the ground. This, The pillars back there will disappear, so I'm not too worried about that. That's down five. So it can actually be right there. Okay. We'll do that. And just have it go straight into a connection over here. 77 is the best. So just like that. Okay, so... Kinda easy? Not necessarily. <laughs> this can actually go up a little. But, anyways, the Gord, seeing the captain looking like a crunch bear, he goes, You're making me hungry. And so the captain just gets irritated. He's like, That's it. Walk the plank. And he's like, Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, yeah, then they do say Captain Crunch. They, they had to hide it for the punchline. That's right. Um, aye, aye, Captain Crunch. But the whole you're making me hungry thing. Hmm. So, does this work? <laughs> does this massive piece of spaghetti work? Let's unpause it. Let's play it. We have our first train going around. It's going this way. 
We have our second train going around. It is going to the south. Our third going north. That gang stopped up for just a second, as I thought it would, even if it's crossing right there. This just makes me think of, like, marble works with how all the trains are interacting. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is actually very cool, impressive, and a little bit mesmerizing to watch once enough trains get on here. And we have a lot of trains that are coming down, too, from up the northeast actually that would be the southeast but okay so it's working though so yes and that actually is just the end of the episode so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please do leave a like as it does help the channel and do subscribe if you're not already to catch the next episode as it comes out if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And do check out the description below to see how you can help the channel. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good I hope you enjoyed and have a good one. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye.